There are a lot of people trying to learn how to code. They set a goal, feel really motivated, and tell all of their friends. But most people never make it past the first month. Now, I find this really fascinating. They are so set on becoming programmers, yet most completely fail. What I've found is that it's not because they're stupid or something. It's often not even their fault. They've gotten into a bad situation where learning programming becomes really difficult. And today, I'll show you the six critical mistakes to avoid if you want to learn programming fast and actually get a job. Let's not waste any more time so you can get back to writing some code. The first mistake I see is about problem solving. Often when we pick a problem, we want to start coding and see results really fast. But in reality, that's not exactly the way to go. Your code is only as good as your solution to the problem. The code is actually just the implementation. It's completely fine if you don't get to coding right away. You may want to spend some time actually figuring out how to approach the task at hand. A problem I see is not allowing yourself to problem solve and play around. Coding is just logic and problem solving, literally. Try new methods and figure out solutions, and embrace errors as learning opportunities. I know it sounds boring, but it's true. Next, I get it. There are a ton of programming languages to learn and things you can do all the time. Now, I'm not going to tell you to focus on one specific language or just one language in general, but rather open your mind up to an approach I find very helpful. Consider focusing on one area. Pick your area to focus on. Now, I'm not going to tell you what that is, so you should spend some time figuring out and exploring why you want to learn programming and what you want to learn. Once you figure that out, focus on specific material, relevant problems, and one or two languages when you start. This can accelerate your learning because you get to dig deeper into one thing and learning things more thoroughly and also knowing one language really well will actually allow you to transfer many concepts over to other programming languages once you need that. Don't get stuck in the trap of just trying out things and trying to become a full stack developer from scratch. Deep first and then spread out. Another mistake that sounds really obvious yet yet kills so many people's dreams and is one of the biggest obstacles is simply not practicing enough. Now, when I say practice, I don't mean spend 10 hours a day doing something. For most people, that's just toxic productivity and it's not gonna allow you to stay consistent and you'll just get burned out. What I'm talking about is coding a few hours per day or at least a few times a week. The best way to do this is by building a solid routine. And after a while, it's not even gonna feel like you're forced to do it. It just becomes a regular part of your week. Now, the real danger here is giving up before a solid routine has been established. Research shows that it takes quite a while for a new habit it to be formed, 66 days to be exact. Now most people are not able to stay consistent for two months at a time, so they never get to experience what it actually feels like having a proper coding routine that you're just completely used to. In my opinion, if you can stay consistent for two to three months, chances are that you'll succeed. To do this more practically, I would advise you to track your progress. It's really hard to see how far you've come by just looking at it day by day. You can start journaling and documenting what you've learned every single day, which is awesome to look back at, but also also to pressure yourself a little bit into actually going out and learning something every single day. It's good pressure. This brings us on to the fourth mistake I see most people make, and it's about your personal life. Most people have way too much going on. This one is harsh, but if you have 15 different activities, your weekends are completely occupied, and perhaps you're out drinking all the time, and spending all of your time on video games and stuff like that, then you're not really gonna have the time or energy or willpower to learn how to code. Now time management is also key here. One hour can be really useful and enough to learn a ton, or completely wasted. Now, it's also about building healthy habits so that learning how to code fits nicely into your life. For example, it could be eating properly, getting enough sleep, some exercise, and so on. These things are proven to help you become more focused and learn better. Now, the fifth mistake is huge as well, and something really obvious, but most people don't fix this for some reason. Somebody with a growth mindset that's seeking new challenges and looking to improve every single day will always defeat the rest of us. And this is especially relevant to programming, because you need to be out there learning and practicing all the time. Sometimes it's going to be really frustrating, but with the right mindset you can handle these challenges and get past them even stronger and more knowledgeable than you were before. Now I don't just want this to be like a just fix your mindset kind of video, but it is worth taking a look at your mindset. The final reason as to why most people fail to learn programming is that they're doing it alone. If you have a community there to support you, it's all going to be so much easier. Know that it's kind of cliche, but it is true. You could join a forum, a discord server, or any other form of community. It doesn't have to be that serious, as long as you're able to see what other people are up to and perhaps get to know some of them. This is going to be a shameless plug, but I'm actually a partner with Course Careers. They offer fantastic software development boot camps for beginners without any experience or degree to help them get jobs fast. For example, it includes a ton of programming and learning material, career coaching and mentorship, and also including live coaching calls with experts. You'll also get access to their student community, as well as an opportunity to get job placements with top companies that they partner with. And compared to other options, 
like boot camps and such, this is actually really affordable. They have a free intro course which you can try at no cost, and I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your programming journey.